talk about round robin. So I have www going to web servers, which is going to one server. I cannot make multiple um, C name records that point to the same name. Can't do that. So what you have to do is, is you create multiple A records that has the name that the C record points to. So if I want www to go to a bunch of different web servers, what I'll do is I'll create a bunch of records called web servers. So I'll say web servers, and then I'll put in an IP address of 10.23, oops, 235, eh, that's fine, 65.8. So I'll add that one. Then I'll add another one called web servers, and I'll put in a wildly different IP address of 135.6.9.8. So now I have three different records that all have the exact same name. If I go in and I do an NS lookup to my machine, so I'll say NS L-O-K-U-P, and I say uh, www.adatum.com, this is pointing to the C name record, it will resolve it to the A name record of web servers and notice that it shows me all three entries and they're in a very specific order. One of the cool things about Microsoft's DNS is it is site aware. When it's site aware, when you go in and you request a record that has multiple instances or multiple entries, the DNS will try and sort it based upon your subnet. So it'll try and give the one that matches your subnet as the top one because computers are lazy, they always pick the top entry. But here what we're doing is we're doing round robin. In other words, every request, it just simply rotates the order. So you notice that here we have 172, then 10, then 135. Now we've moved 10 up. Now we've moved 135 up, and it just simply rotates through. The bad part about round robin DNS is that it doesn't care if the IP address that it gives you doesn't point to anybody who's alive. All three of these addresses uh, with the exception of uh, seven dot or two dot seven, none of these machines are up and running. So this is not a replacement for hardware load balancing. Also, it's dumb load balancing with round robin. We just sit there and rotate it. So it doesn't matter that the first server has five thousand people hitting it, and the other two servers have barely anybody hitting it. It still just rotates it through. If you have a hardware load balancer or you're using Microsoft uh, network load balancing, it can go in and say, "Is the server up?" With hardware load balancing, you can even have agents installed that says, is the service itself running? What type of machine is the busiest? Which one is least busy? You can say, if you already talked to one machine, we'll redirect you back to that machine. But round robin DNS doesn't, uh, doesn't do that. And that's what round robin DNS does. Now, if I want to, um, I can disable round robin DNS. So I can go into the properties of my DNS server bring up the properties, and inside of here, I can go in and I can say, hey, I want to go in and turn off round robin. So I can turn round robin off.